Hello, Bex and Henry here and welcome back to Xbox On. Next Generation is now within touching distance, as you no doubt know by now. Xbox Series S and X arrive on the 10th of November with an excellent slate of launch titles and the biggest back compact catalogue we've ever seen. But that's just the start. There are so many games coming to these consoles that we simply cannot wait to get our hands on. We've had some glimpses of some very exciting Xbox Game Studio titles, from the fantasy worlds of Fable and Avowed, to Forza Motorsport's shiny next-gen chassis, and the beautifully grim State of Decay 3. But in this video, we're going to focus on the games we know a little more about, and we just can't wait to experience for ourselves. <laughs> Let's start with a big one, about as big as they get in fact, Cyberpunk 2077, which promises to be CD Projekt Red doing for sci-fi RPGs what The Witcher did for fantasy. There are tons of reasons to be excited for 2077, a hugely customizable character from their look to their abilities and even their backstory, missions that let you approach them however you want, some very cool guns and gadgets and vehicles, but most of all, a new CD Projekt world to discover. Night City is a sprawling, dystopian open-world metropolis packed with quests and gorgeously crafted details and stories. We've been hyped about this one for eight years now, and at long last, the future is very nearly here. The Xbox One version of Cyberpunk 2077 arrives on the 19th of November, which looks gorgeous enough, and you'll be able to play it on your Xbox Series S or X straight away thanks to cross-compatibility. But CD Projekt Red is also working on a next-gen version, and when that comes out, you'll be able to upgrade for totally free thanks to smart delivery. It's been a while since we've used the classic Keanu line, but that is completely breathtaking. You're breathtaking. You're all breathtaking. And now from one neon-drenched city to another with Yakuza Like a Dragon. Maybe you've been playing the previous Yakuza as they've landed on Game Pass this year, following the story of Kazuma Kiryu. But don't worry if not, because this game kicks off with a brand new saga and in a brand new city, Yokohama, and a new hero at the centre. That's a lot of news. This time you play as Ichiban Kasuga just out of jail after 10 years and almost immediately betrayed by his criminal buddies. Time to make some new friends. A whole party of them, in fact, because Like a Dragon doubles down on the RPG elements. Combat now gives you control of a whole squad of pals in classic turn-based fashion, as you unleash some frankly ludicrous attacks using everything from glow sticks to guitars and even a giant pepper grinder. This might be a fresh start for Yakuza, but its unique tone is intact, mixing serious crime drama with an excellently offbeat sense of humour. You can try for yourself when Like a Dragon arrives only on Xbox on November 10th. Yeah, that's launch day. Okay, after all that urban excitement, it's time for something a little more rural with Rare's gorgeously enigmatic Everwild. This is the latest from the Sea of Thieves studio, taking you to a new fantasy world where nature and magic are intertwined. You play as an Eternal, not to be confused with the Marvel heroes or the 90s girl band. These Eternals are roaming druids who have a deep connection with the world around them, but especially their animal companions. As for what exactly you'll be doing, well, that's still under wraps for now, but Everwild promises unique and unforgettable experiences. And with Rare's track record and just the way it looks, we just have to include this one on the list. The last few years have brought a lot of great games about Groundhog Day style time loops, but none of them have been quite like this. 12 Minutes is an interactive thriller from indie film royalty Annapurna's equally brilliant game studio. You're presented with a top-down view of an ordinary apartment where a married couple are enjoying a romantic evening until an intruder breaks into their home and spoils it, rather violently. You take the role of the husband, trapped in a loop and forced to relive the worst 12 minutes of his life, over and over. But there is a bright side. Perhaps with enough goals, you can find some way to stop the intruder, save yourself and break free of the loop. Oh, and we should probably mention the star-studded cast, 
because the husband, wife and intruder are being played by James McAvoy, Daisy Ridley and Willem Dafoe. Maybe it's worth being trapped in a violent time loop to hang out with these legendary actors. Up to you. And sticking with the cinematic theme, but going in a very different direction, we're incredibly hyped for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Between Squadrons and Fallen Order, we've been spoiled for choice when it comes to playing in that galaxy far, far away. But there's never been a Star Wars game quite this comprehensive. The Skywalker Saga takes all nine films, the full trilogy of trilogies, from Phantom Menace right through to Rise of Skywalker, and bricks it. It's a game where you get to play as minifig versions of, well, pretty much everyone. Luke, Rey, Yaddle? The deep cuts are strong with this one. So basically, if you've ever wanted your entire childhood bundled up into a single, incredibly shiny package, you can't do much better than this. Just try not to step on any bricks. Or for a slightly darker take on your childhood heroes, there's Gotham Knights, a game which begins with the premise that Batman is dead. But hope is still alive thanks to the Bat family. That's Nightwing, Batgirl, Red Hood and Robin, all of whom are playable. And to really keep the family spirit going, you can team up with a friend to bring down supervillains. That's right, this is an open world multiplayer take on the Arkham games, with four heroes worth of gadgets and acrobats to master and customise however you like. Which is lucky because with the Court of Owls coming to roost in Gotham City, you're gonna need all the help you can get. Next up, a game we're doubly excited about because it's kind of two games in one. On the one hand, you've got the multiplayer, which, though you might not have heard of it, is actually one of the biggest in the entire world. Crossfire is huge in Asia, where over a billion players have already battled it out in earlier versions of the game. It's a military team-based tactical shooter with a ton of modes that lets you choose to keep it simple with a Counter-Strike style classic mode, or you can jump into Spectre mode where one team are invisible ninjas armed only with melee weapons. But that's not all, because on the other hand, you've also got the single-player campaign. This is being made by Remedy, the legendary developers behind Max Payne, Alan Wake and Control, games known for their awesome abilities and cinematic set pieces. But this is the first time they've tackled a first-person shooter campaign, and honestly, we can't wait to see the results. Speaking of legendary developers, you can't get much more legendary than the creators of Sonic the Flippin' Hedgehog. Their latest game, Balan Wonderworld, has all the platforming pleasures you'd expect, combined with the more surreal vibes of their 90s cult classic, Night Into Dreams. The game takes place in Wonderworld, a fantasy land you enter through the mysterious Balan Theatre. A bit like Narnia, but with one of those velvet curtains instead of all those coats. You're there to help restore happiness and defeat evil manifestations of negative emotions. But really, it's all about jumping around, fighting hidden statues, and battling some gorgeously inventive and unusual boss monsters. The coolest ability here is that Balan Wonderworld features 80 costumes you can slip into and take on their unique abilities. Transform into a wolf, a robot, a spider, a fire hydrant. And if you're playing with a friend in the couch co-op mode, you can use their abilities together to create combos and overcome obstacles. Very cool. Let's close out this list with some of our most anticipated next-gen sequels. Resident Evil has undergone an incredible resurrection over the past few years, one that's actually gone way better than resurrections tend to in the games themselves. It all started with Resi 7, aka Biohazard, which brought the survival horror series into first person for the first time, and now is getting a follow-up in the form of Resident Evil Village. It picks up with Seven's hero slash unlucky victim, Ethan Winters, this time in a snowy European village home to creepy castles and crypts and what appear to be straight-up werewolves. It all looks horrifyingly good, pushing the RE engine to new next-gen heights, and with the return of series veteran Chris Redfield, seemingly as a villain by the way, Village could just be the best Resident Evil yet. We'll find out when it arrives later next year. Whoa, you didn't think we'd forgotten the Chief, did you? 
We mentioned the eight years of anticipation for Cyberpunk earlier, and we've been waiting nearly as long for the return of the big man. It was 2015 when Halo 5 came to Xbox One. 343 has been using that time to build an enormous reboot that's set to take the shooter series to infinity and beyond. Sorry. We're talking a brand new engine in the form of Slip Space, game changing gadgets like the shield wall and grappling hook, and a whole new ring world to explore, with more freedom than ever before. And that's just the campaign. We're yet to get our first glimpse of that all important multiplayer. But we know it's going to support four player split screen, Spartan customization, and oh yeah, it's going to be 120 FPS and free to play. Huge. Now, this is just scratching the surface of the next gen games we're hyped for. We haven't even mentioned Hitman 3, Warhammer 40,000, Dark Tide, or The Gunk. Or, well, why don't you let us know which ones you're most excited about down in the comments? And for more on everything next gen, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. We'll see you next time. Bye.